So what we have here, a cell of negligible internal resistors. Very good, don't care about internal resistance. Connect to a network of resistor and a voltmeter. I see this also, maybe I want to cry already. Wow, I got diamond shape. Okay. The reading of the voltmeter is zero. This, whenever you see this very complicated circuit and they tell you voltmeter is zero, and meter is zero, galvanometer is zero. That's probably a very important clue that we'll use it later. What is the resistance of R? How on earth are we supposed to continue this? Okay. Maybe the first step we do in this circuit is to stay calm and redraw the circuit a bit. This one I see, if I'm not trained or I don't do enough circuits, I cannot properly think about this without confusing myself. So I'm going to draw this into something that I feel more comfortable analyzing. So you see all these slanted wires? We are going to straighten them out. So we go up to a junction and we split into two paths. One go up, one go down. Okay, so I, I can redraw it like this. One resistor here. This is my 3 ohm. And one, one other path here, which is my 2 ohm. Okay, so there's two paths already. Yeah. All right, then we continue going. Then this voltmeter will bridge between the two paths. One path up here, one path down here. So there's a, it's like a bridge. Right? This is what I call a bridge question. So I'm going to say voltmeter is here. Measuring the difference cross. So this is like a bridge. All right, then we finish through. The green path, go on and then join back. So here we join. Go back to battery. Okay, so we go back to battery. Over here, this is going to be our 4.8 ohm. And then the top one, got two here. Got a 14.4 ohm. But then got another one on top. This is the R that we want to find. So I'm going to draw it in parallel like that. And then I go back. Okay, that looks a bit better. Not so scary. I'm like, okay, all the lines are straight. So one tip is redraw circuit, you make all the lines straight. Now, about that clue that we talked about. Voltmeter reading is zero. What does that mean for the potential here and here? At this point, and this point. There is any, any clue there. What does a voltmeter measure? Potential difference. It means oh, there is no difference. PD is zero. If this zero means potential difference is zero, which means the V up here and the V down here is exactly the same. That means potential is the same. One example you find it hard to bring what does it mean by potential the same, is something like this. Let's say my battery have 12 volts. So the potential coming out of the battery at this high point is still 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Then, if I drop down a certain value, let's say I drop by uh, 4 volts, drop. 12 drop by 4 become 8 volts. So this one is 8, oh. So if I want this side to have the exact same potential, I also have to drop by 4 volts. Drop by 4, so 12 drop by 4 become 8. Ah, it's the same, right? 8 volt, 8 volt. So what your voltmeter will measure is the difference. 0. That's what it means. So, but in real life, I mean, we don't have all these values. So let's wrap it off and write equations to represent that. So those two pink color V is the same potential. In order for that to be true, that means your potential difference, let's call this delta V1, just so we don't confuse with too many V, has to be the same as the potential difference here, delta V1 also. Must be the same, because you drop down ma, from battery, potential drop down to the same level. That also means the other side, this potential drop or potential difference, delta V2, is also the same as delta V2 here. And these two are in parallel, so they all have the same potential delta V2. This alone is a pretty important clue because now we can ratio everywhere already. Okay, let's do the ratio. Ratio is our best friend. Ratio. What shall we ratio? Ah? Let's ratio the green line's resistance. So the green line, where's my green color? 
the resistance, uh, we have 2 ohm over 4.8 ohm ratio to each other. Huh? That will be the exact same ratio as the potential difference V1 over V2. I mean, it's a delta, but I don't write the delta. Lah. Okay, so the ratio of resistance is the same as the ratio of potential difference. They share, share. But this line, the ratio is the same as this line. So delta V1, V2 can also ratio the resistances there. So I'm going to do, let's call this the blue line, including this whole thing, and then come down. So let's ratio that. So on this other side, we will have a ratio of V1 over V2. Oh. So V1 over V2. So I take 3 ohm over this whole thing. So 3 ohm over this whole section in parallel. I, I'm just going to call this R parallel for now. Because we simplify our steps a bit. Okay, so we can do a little ratio. 2 over 4.8. Simplify down to 3 over R parallel. For R parallel, what do we get? Ah? 2 over 4.8. 3 divided by answer. 3.6. Did I do that correctly? Check and see. R parallel. Yeah, you know, double check. 2 over 4.8. 3 over... Eh? Wait a second, wait a second. My calculator pressed wrong already. I uh, wrong uh, 7.2. Sorry, sorry. Error, error. Moment of error. 7.2 ohm. Okay, okay. Then this 7.2 ohm is not the answer yet. Don't stop there. That is R parallel, which means both this R that we want to find as well as the 14.4. This whole thing is 7.2. So we need to do one more step to find the R. For resistor in parallel, the equation is 1 over total resistance equals to 1 over R plus 1 over 14.4. Ah, this is the last step already. So your press calculator here and there, you will find that at the end of the day, the R that we want to find is going to be 14.4. Bunny, also 14.4? Yep, best choice is D. Many step all these questions. So generally this, yeah, that's, I would say step, if you see something a bit scary like this, step one is you want to redraw until it do something that looks familiar. And then you do your, your hint, voltmeter is zero. What does that mean? Potential, potential difference. Likely when you see this type of circuit, there's a ratio involved. Ratio is your best friend. Potential divider is all ratio. So you ratio here, ratio there, but in the end you have to find your R. Okay, so make some notes. If you've seen this for the first time or you're like, oh my goodness, I have no idea how to do this. It's okay. We learn from this. When we see more circuits like this, we stay calm and we circuits. All right.